Morning, how are you doing? Again, this is Ricky at Saltwater Addicts and it's raining again. You've got to love Cornwall. So today the plan is gel coat the boat. So I'm going to do a little how-to video on what you need, application and everything needed to know. So keep your eyes peeled. Here we go. Right, this is everything needed to do some gel coating. Most important one, cup of tea. Right, we have got foam rollers for applying the gel coat. Let me turn this silly light off. Stop that flickering. Here we go. Right, got gel roll uh, foam rollers to apply the gel coat. So you whack that on with the roller. Then get a decent quality brush. Last thing you want is all the uh, the brushes there to come out in the gel coat. Stirrer, catalyst, plenty of gel coat. Uh, we've got panel wipe. Um, I'll go and do a little how to use the panel wipe. Standard thinners for cleaning up and loads of tea stuff. Right, let's crack on. Right, when it comes to panel wiping, it's always important to have two cloths. One is your wet one, which you keep your panel wipe on. The second one is you keep dry. So as you put on the, the uh, panel wipe, you use the second cloth to wipe it off because it leaves like a little trace on the boat, which is what you don't want. So just remember, wax on, wax off. Easy as that. I'll do a little one just to show you how it's done. It's, uh, it's not a rocket science. So it's the panel wipe. Delsa cloth. Let's swap that on the other side here. Do an area, and as it starts to dry, just wipe it off. It's as easy as that. Do a patch, wipe it off. Now I've just got to go around the whole boat and do this. Get all the dust and crap off of it. And then we'll go over to the gel coating. Well, uh, the boat is all done with the panel wipe, nice and clean. I've got myself two litres ready to go. Got myself a cup of standard thinner just for cleaning stuff. If I make a mess as I go, it's there, ready to clean up mess. Got my catalyst. Now what I'm going to do is just knock up one cup as I need it. Um, I'm only going to put one, possibly one and a half percent of catalyst um, per cup. That will give me a pot life of about... 15 minutes before it starts going off. Um, after that, it's unusable. So if you were to knock all of them up, you'd waste three, guaranteed. So just knock up what you can use, um, and then go from there. What I'm probably going to do is do a short video of me rolling it on, um, and then I'll skip to a time lapse maybe. Mind you, I've seen it go on. It's it's pretty much the same. Right, here we go. As you can see, yes, I forgot a point. A paint roller tray. So let's just get this on before it starts going off. You want to get a good even coat, so that it's about the thickness of a um, matchbox, like cardboard. It's about the thickness you're trying to get. What I'm going to do is just toss it on with a roller. Once I've got the thickness I want, I'll then just flan it in with a brush. What you don't want to do is try and roll it out too much. We want to try and get that good even coverage from the get-go. See now the roller's loaded with the material, you can see it's going better. Uh, I'll probably do two or three coats in, in all, um, and then that way when I'm finished I can sand and polish one coat, like the very last one, just to get that super glossy look to it, if I wanted to. Right, I'll just quickly do this little area, and then I'll show you what it looks like with the brush. 
and then I'll skip to a time lapse probably. Messy job with a roller, but the quick one. That's it, got me stride now. Thought I'd start on the biggest area, get that out of the way. Only gets easier as you go down the back of the boat then. I need to be brushing this in before it starts to go off, but it will actually go off faster in the pot because it's got the mass there it will start to exo firm in the pot so the quicker you get it on the boat the better then you get a little bit of time to try and work with it probably should put gloves on Let's have a look, see what that will brush like. Now we're not looking at brushing it out like, as if you was at applying it. You're literally just flattening it out. That is all we do with the brush. Just flatten it out. nice easy brush strokes you're not looking to move it you're literally all we're doing with this is getting rid of the texture from the roller nothing else Right, I've got it all on, just do a quick walk around. Um, when you come to do this, you're gonna think, bloody hell, what have I done? But what you've got to bear in mind is, because you're putting it on with a brush and a roller, it is gonna need cutting and polishing back a little bit. You don't need to, bear in mind this is just an old fishing boat, so that is probably 
I'm not going to need much of a cut and polish for what I want. I say it's a fishing boat, not a super yacht. But I've gone round with a roller, and now I'm just going around with a brush. And I'm just gently, I'm not brushing it off, just gently going over it, just to flatten it in a little bit. And get it all uniform. And I've just noticed I bought myself a nice expensive Hamilton brush and it drags, makes it go all dull. So I just found this little cheap one that I wasn't going to use because I didn't want the bristles coming out. And it's actually sliding over rather than dragging over. So one bit of advice from this, you don't really need the expensive paintbrush. So in fact, this is working a hell of a lot better. I should have bought a three inch one of these. Look at that, pretty much is all you've got to do, just to take the lines out of the roller. And if I come close, you can see the nice shine on that to the orange peel of the roller. So as this goes off, I'm just going to continue going around it, just brushing it off. And for a fishing boat, to be fair, that would probably do for me. So I'm just going to carry on going around, flattening that in, and then we go from there. I'll tell you what I will do is I will cut and polish a section on the back just to show you how it does come out if you put multiple coats on. So stay tuned. Right guys, I think that is about that done for the first coat. If you uh, want to see the next coat all cut and polished, how it can come up, um, like, subscribe, follow the videos. I should be doing that in about two weeks, all going well. So um, drop us a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll see you soon. Cheers guys.